The Ministry of Communication, Innovation and Digital Economy says the program is staged to make use of existing facilities in the nation's communication sector to address the various challenges facing the country, including security. It says the administration is leveraging on the existing infrastructure with the Nigeria Comsat, which is the satellite company. Uh, today, Nigeria is probably one of the most attractive markets for telecommunications company on the African continent. Uh, we do have some of the biggest players in this space in the country, and we're extremely fortunate that they've also, alongside governments, invested in the critical infrastructure, the backbone that actually drives uh, connectivity. Nigeria is projected to invest in 120 kilometers of fiber optic cable. Uh, to be able to cover the entire country. At the minute, we're at about 35,000 kilometers, 35,000 kilometers. We've done the numbers working with the best companies in this space. It will cost us less than a billion to, to complete the deployment of fiber optic cable. And the president is given the go-ahead for us to source fund for that. So we are in the process of setting up a $2 billion, $2 billion fund. I said it costs less than $1 billion. But the reason why we're setting up a $2 billion fund is to use the balance to drive down the cost of connectivity in the country. We want to ensure that all schools are connected, all hospitals in the country, country that, that they are connected, and also all government facilities as well. So we are in the process of setting up this fund. We've already received uh, significant interest from the Africa Development Bank, who are looking to put about $200 million into this. We've also, we're in extensive uh, and deep conversation with the World Bank on this as well. The model we're thinking, which is uh, we're using the special purpose vehicle, is to actually also crowd in investment from the private sector to be able to deploy the fiber optic network that we want to uh, deploy in the country. He added that in the next six months, the goal is to reach at least eight of the states within the country to demonstrate the pilots, and the goal is to then take it from there and cover the entire country. Tosin Tolu Walojo, reporting for BTV News.